welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the Champions League. And believe me, guys, this is a big one because of all the games Barca are going to play in the group stage this campaign. I think this one right here, this is the biggest test for us. Porto away, that is what awaits us. And we have to rise to the challenge. We have to take it upon ourselves here to prove that we can compete. And this is a game that really will tell us where we are, you know, how we're progressing right now with the team that we have. And today we're going to be focusing on exactly what is to come, including Xavi's all in important lineup and on a very important occasion guys let's kick off with a big announcement for the channel. Now today's video is coming to you courtesy guys of a brand new sponsor on the channel welcoming here today NordVPN who are not only the fastest VPN on the planet which is useful for instance if you're heading off on holiday but you still want to be able to enjoy the same content that you would have home free from any restrictions NordVPN will have you covered at the click of a button but there's also guys the very important matter here of online security. When you think about the amount of time that we all spend online these days and the amount of our data that is out there oh boy particularly when using things like public wi-fi one thing is clear we need protecting so think about nordvpn as your very own personal ronald araujo nordvpn is going to be there every step of the way to handle every threat and stop it at source and if you would like to check out the magic of nordvpn for yourself and i really do believe guys this is an important and helpful tool for you simply click the link in the description down below that will take you there to the risk-free 30-day nordvpn money back guarantee that is an exclusive talk fcb offer so check that out now and keep yourself protected guys and a big thank you for all of your support because okay guys let me just reiterate here this is a challenge for us and what i would actually say about that is i think it's a welcomed one i think we want to actually be tested in the Champions League because against Antwerp, Barca kicked off their Champions League campaign perfectly. It was great football, it was great goals, everything was all good, but I think we all want to see where we are in terms of the teams that we come up against, how we handle ourselves, especially away from home and also in big atmospheres as well. And I think Porto, they do present that challenge because when you're looking right here at Group H right now, I think each team there, they're going to present their own challenges, but I think when it comes down to it, we are going to be battling Porto for that top spot and they got off the mark perfectly away at Shakhtar really good win for them on match day one and that really does set this game up quite perfectly because I think guys topping the group it's really important here for Barca not only in terms of getting through to the knockout stage and then of course you give yourself a better chance usually of a better draw in the round of 16 but I think it's all about sending out that message and showing ultimately that we are ready to be a force again in this competition and that we can and her teams away from home and at home and that is the big thing for me we have to do better in away matches because I think so often over the past few seasons of the Champions League Barca when they've gone away from home against a tricky team and even in the Europa League as well we haven't performed we haven't managed to stand up we haven't managed to handle ourselves and ultimately show the best version of ourselves this is a chance for us here Porto they're a top team they're a quality side and we have to show what we can do on Wednesday night because when you are looking at our opponents, Porto, first of all, they have had a very solid start to the season. They are currently third there in the Portuguese top division, just behind Sporting and Benfica. And to be fair to Porto, they'd actually been on a really good run. They'd been relatively unbeaten throughout the course of the season so far, in some good form, aside from their games against Benfica. Their big rivals, Benfica, the team that they'd want to beat. And at the weekend, it was Angel Di Maria yet again on the big occasion, on the big stage in finals and big important matches he's always there isn't he Di Maria he left Porto deflated and defeated and you do wonder will that have a knock-on effect there will there be any hangover from that weekend defeat to their big rivals for Porto on Wednesday because speaking of that Porto Benfica rivalry it is a big one and we do have some of that in our own team because João Cancelo he actually started his career at Benfica he returns to Portugal on Wednesday after making quite an incredible 
start to his Barca career. And I think it's quite extraordinary, really, when you're looking at Cancelo's start to his time at Barca, the sheer number of games that he's played now, because he played the full 90 against Sevilla on Friday, and that makes it there five games in less than two weeks for João Cancelo. Absolutely unbelievable. And it has been reported since, guys, because we've all been wondering there, you know, should he rest? Does he need to rest? Are we running risk here of injury? But apparently Barca did consider resting Cancelo against Sevilla, but the club apparently uses there a fatigue monitoring tool to assess injury risk. And the data apparently said Cancelo's fine. The guy is a machine. He is okay to go. And I would expect him again to be involved tomorrow. And then there's João Felix too, because he also happens to be a former Benfica player. That was, of course, the club where he burst onto the scene, burst onto the European scene as well, and became one of the biggest prospects in the game. And of course, since leaving Portugal, João Felix's career may not have developed quite as it was expected just yet. But I think, as always, and especially in Europe too, that leaves him with that point to prove. And I think it's going to be interesting to watch João Felix here, because he had an electric start to his Barca career. He got off the mark so quickly. He was fitting in so well really early on. Now, in the last two games, he has just dropped off a little. You know, it hasn't been all smooth sailing. He hasn't been maybe as effective as he was. He's come off early in those last two games, but I do expect the best of him here. I do expect João Felix to come again with the quality and the talent that he has. It will re-emerge and it will be in the big competitions. But of course, ahead of this game, guys, we do have several injury problems to contend with. Barca are without Pedri, Frankie de Jong and now Rafinha. Those are three key absences from Xavi's team and players that you'd want available in a game like this. But as you can see right there, Porto, they've kind of got problems of their own too. They have several injury concerns heading into this game. Key players for them too. So both sides here aren't really at their strongest. Who can prepare the best lineup? Who can really rise to the occasion on Wednesday? I think that's why it's really, really intriguing and important when you're looking at Chaffee's starting lineup. Because I think it's fascinating because it's actually the first time in a little while here that we've had a good amount of rest coming into this game. You look at it right now. We played on Friday. This game is on Wednesday. That is actually not too far away from a whole week in between a game, which is unheard of of late. Barca here have had time to get themselves ready, to recover the players, to recover that energy and the intensity that we will need to bring. And I think as well here, we're not thinking about rotation. That is not entering the mind right now. This is a big game. It's an important game in the Champions League. And this is one of the first times of late that Xavi has got to field his best team. He has to look at what he's got, look at the players that he has available and think, OK, what is the absolute best lineup that I can field? And that is our next question. Because for me, there are two alternative lineups that Xavi could turn to against Porto. You know, when all we have injuries, it's not as though we can call up on every player that we have and make every decision for Xavi difficult. You know, some are more straightforward than others, but there's two different shapes here that we could opt for. This right here is number one. You've got Ter Stegen. You've got Cancelo and Balde there as the fullbacks in a back four. Then centre-back, though, would be a big call. Because suddenly now you've got to choose between Kunde, Christensen and Araujo. Now, if you're only going to feel two of those, which two are you going to go with? Would you actually stick right now with Kunde and Christensen, as we've seen for much of the season so far? But you kind of imagine that Araujo would have to come in in a big game. So that day would be a big, big call for Xavi in midfield. If you're going to go with three, it will be very, very clear. Romeo, Gavi and Gundogan. And then the front three as well is pretty simple to pick two. That would be Laminia Mal, that would be Lewandowski and that would be João Felix from the left-hand side. So that there would be a effectively a 4-3-3 formation, which is one of Xavi's options. However, there is the option of another as well, and it's all really based around those defensive options that you do have, because you have the options now of Kunde, of Christensen, of Araujo, three incredible centre-backs, top, top quality players. Could you play them all along the back line and actually work those fullbacks there into a midfield shape. So line up there with a back three of centre-backs, push Cancelo and Balde into midfield, drop Romeo so you'd have then Cancelo as an inverted player. Of course, we've seen him do that very, very well. Gavi and Gundogan. Balde, of course, is going to dominate that left-hand side and then you stick with the same front three. You've got the genius, the creativity of Yamal. You've got Lewandowski leading the line and hopefully then you get players 
is around him and then you'd have Xiao Felix on the left hand side which I think would be a really really intriguing and actually bold choice there to go with something a little bit different to sort of mix things up given the fact that we do have a few injuries in midfield we don't have the kind of quality and the kind of depth that we want in that area and I would also say guys has Fermin Lopez yet again got a part to play in this game you know I think he's been so effective when called upon and the technical quality that he's shown over the past two games when he's had the chance he would be right there for me he would be on the verge of making this team but I just want to know guys what shape would you line up with there and if you're going to go with only two centre backs who makes it that is the big big question right now Kunde, Araujo, Christensen what duo would you go with or would you line up with all three? Would you switch things up? Would you push those fullbacks on? Let me know your choices in the comments down below. Because I do think it's interesting, guys, when you're looking here at the predictions ahead of this one, because there is a lot of confidence. I don't think Barca have later been the same breathtaking quality that we saw maybe a few games ago, but there's still a belief that we can do this. There's still a belief here that we have the players to go to Porto, to get the win, to show what we can do, and actually put on a good Euro European away performance. That is what we're all craving. That is what we're all crying out for right now. Let's show what we can do. Let's stand up on a big European night because you've got to build momentum. We have to show ourselves again that we can do it so that we can have that belief, so we can take that on with us as this competition progresses. Let me know your score predictions down below. Please do like I say, guys. Check out NordVPN. Big, big help that would be to the channel. Thank you indeed for your support. Let's get ready for this one. Let's enjoy the Champions League and I'll see you tomorrow when it is all over and hopefully we can be celebrating. But until next time, guys, as always, Vishka, Elbasa. Oh.